It's Mizu once again. Um, it's Sunday morning. I've been just watching some YouTube. I've showered. But it's... I want to talk about X-Men right now. Because I feel like the X-Men, as characters of the comic books are, Marvel is killing them off. Because Fox owns the movie rights. So why promote and advertise characters that aren't going to make you a whole bunch of money? And this has gone going back since this event, House of M. Like, yeah, I only own two trades, but that's what so fucking it's shit is. I again. Uh, <laughs> what was I saying? Right. This isn't a 420 somewhere, but they're systematically shrinking down X-Men titles, merging them into Avengers titles. Like, you have the Unity Avengers right now, and it makes sense to a degree, and we all have our own theories to why they're killing them off, but since House of M... Like, spoilers alert, but House of M ends with Scarlet Witch saying no more mutants, or begins with. Ends with? Begins with? I just know that we went from having millions of mutants to having less than 300. And that's why Hope is such a fucking big deal, MacGuffin. But I ain't here to talk about Hope. <laughs> <laughs> but it's it's like we don't want the X-Men to be like phased out fully is like and now there's all new all different Wolverine which I don't mind X-23 as Wolverine like I own NYX I've read her solo books don't own them that's what library cards are for like I'm sorry comic book industry I don't really read trades unless they're like what ifs and team ups from the fucking 70s and 80s. Like, I've got random team ups all over my wall in some places. Mm, used to have more. Oh, I do have Mutopia issue one. But, House of M. It's, if you haven't read it, it's, no, I mean, House of M is one of those events that, it was the beginning, at least at the beginning of Marvel's consecutive run storylines that cross over, because before, before um, House of M, we had Avengers Disassemble, where Scarlet Witch kills Vision, or not Vision, she kills Hawkeye, because Vision is dead killed, which Vision ends up coming back anyway, <laughs> like, <laughs> uh, but Avengers Disassembled rolled into House of M, and House of M led up to Civil War, and we've had all these events and all this crazy shit, and we're at a second Civil War, because we've got Minority Port Mutant. <sighs> uh, this is... Marvel's doing what they do. It's like, we can't say Marvel's being stupid now, because comics have always been inherently a little stupid. And it's like, I'm only... My only real beef is with... The last reboot of Marvel is that they scattered up the Avengers Academy team, which I was digging Avengers Academy because that was a nice rollover from, because it's all about snowball effects and rollover. Say what you will about Civil War itself, it did spawn some good reboot titles, like Heroes for Hire Volume 4, I want to say. Um, Avengers Initiative, which spawned into Avengers Academy at some point. 
Like, Avengers Academy was a dope book. Like, Avengers Initiative was dope. Rest in peace, MVP. <laughs> I, I mean, as a comic book reader, I do want to own... I'm very hesitant to say collector because I'm not a collector. I buy books to read. I buy books so my friends can read. But at some point, I want to just own a nice chunk run of the Avengers. Which, and then certain choice teams I prefer. Like, I own all of Runaways until... They started folding Runaways into Avengers Academy, and now they're all scattered to the winds. I'm sure with enough time, if I just looked and searched online, I'm sure I could find out where all my favorites have gone. Like, all my favorite characters have been scattered to the winds. But that's what happens with comics. Like... Although, you know, if I could recommend some books, very, 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 I mean, everyone, I feel like you should read Doom War. Like, Doom War is probably one of the best, best, fucking just crossover team, team up books. And great Black Panther story. Like, great, great Black Panther story. Um, yeah. And it does tribute to the water, water down mint of books. Right. I started making this video because I was trying to decide of what books I should bring my friend Brian. And I think, I think honestly, because I am still like that guy, I think I will bring him Runaways. Yeah. Runaways. Great fucking book. He's a Firefly fan, so he'll appreciate Wheaton's run. But comics aren't meant to be collected. The comics that are worth money are the Golden Age comics that were recycled for the war effort. You know? I mean, little known Wolverine book that I will recommend as always, Soul Taker. It's just ridiculous. Wolverine fighting ninja zombies. Zombie ninjas. I'm just. K okay, Sarah, Sarah, Sarah. What am I looking for? Right, Runaways, Volume 3, which kind of fucking hate. Like, real, real dumb shit, in my opinion, is that they switch Runaways to trade format from Digest. <laughs> I dig Digest size. <clears throat> For a plethora of reasons, but yeah. Um, it's just some of these like you gotta be super invested in like like I bought Mystic Arcana from Borders Marketplace back in the day so I didn't pay how much I actually should have in fact most of these all of these none of these were like actually paid retail Borders Marketplace was where I got most of my books. But yeah, Mystic Arcana is... It's its own self-contained story. 
but it does involve Magic, Black Knight, Scarlet Witch, and Nico. I only own it because of Nico from the Runaways. That's it. Like, so, I mean, it's a good book. Definitely, these are just books I'm recommending that people should read that are out there. I think everyone who likes to read comics, who thinks that comics are just now getting dumb and goofy, or that comics are always serious, they're not. Comics are a great mixed bowl of nuts. Mixed bowl of nuts. But I'm just recommending some books for a friend. And actually, I think I might just text them and be like, have you read this, this, and this? But today we're high off of a different kind of thing. We're high off of geekdom. Right? Which is probably the best thing you could be high off of. So until next time, like, comment, and subscribe. Smoke that shit, right? <laughs> it's like, roll that shit, light that shit, and pass that shit. And y'all have a good fucking day. Have a good Sunday. I know the fuck I am. Deuces.